ओके वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई आई टी एम को होप द ऑडियो इज फाइन इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव हैड इश्यूज विद द माइक सिंस सम प्रीवियस वीडियो बट आई गेस दे हैव बीन फिक्स्ड नाउ एंड दिस वीडियो शुड बी फाइन इफ द प्रॉब्लम सिर्फ स्टिल परसिस्ट प्लीज फील फ्री टू ड्रॉप इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन और जस्ट मेल इट डाउन टू मी so we have looked at some of the problems of august song challenge and there was a hints and other things so that you could solve the problem easily but now we we'll look at a different problem which is charge scheduling so this is a little difficult problem than the problem we have done so stay tuned the video and pay attention because i won't be sharing the book but i will be sharing the explanation the logic and let's open paint yeah so let's for some time just first understand the problem there are n people in a train and each of them gets on a train at time t now each person on the train wants to use the charging station on the train for some amount Time, but unfortunately, the train has only one charging station and can only be used by one person at any time. So let's actually see it. Basically, there is a train. Right, this is just for example. So basically, it's like a box, and there is a charging station. We have n people. So one, two, three, till n people. And who are in this train? Uh, now the charging platform can be used by only one person at any point in time. The ith person wants to use the charging station for ai minutes in total and will leave the train at time t. The person will be satisfied after the journey only if that person gets to use the charging station for the desired amount of time. so they don't really care if they reach their destination they just want to the charging point here but that's the deal here a1 a2 a3 till am are the basic a and t1 t2 t3 so this is the that is given to us so we need to find a way to schedule the charging such that maximum number of people is satisfied in order to schedule you can pick any interval of time say l par and ask the person i to you charging station equal cell and leave just t sir after this the person i would have spent r minus l station any yeah whatever so basically for any person i can assign l1 r1 l2 r2 l3 r3 r4 lm rm Where each person uses the charging platform from L I R I and L I comma L I denotes that he did not use the charging platform at all because it's an absurd notation, but can use for all when we. Now the schedule is valid if and all people are and all assigned to this. Each person is not assigned. That is, each person is not assigned to interval of time when they are not on. Fine. So you have to find an optimal scheduling that does not contain more than two intervals. Let us. Uh, let me just check if it's recording. Yeah, it is. So let us just find. Let us just see why you can always find an optimal schedule with the given constraints. If there are any such schedules, you cannot put any of them. Okay, 
सो सब तेरे से ऑप्टिमल स्केड्यूलिंग में से थ्री एम एंड देर आर जस्ट एन पी सो सपोजन दिस एज ए स्केड्यूलिंग एंड ई गेट्स ऑफ यूर सो आई कैन जस्ट कैंसिल दिस दिस यूर एंड मूव एवरी थिंग दैट वॉज इन बिटवीन बैक so now i can make this as one interval hence you can almost every time get it into and scheduling so you don't even need to and actually but yeah fine so you can get that so now it says the input format first line contains an integer q denoting the number of test cases the description of q test cases follow each test contains three lines of in an integer n and okay so now we have all the information and we just need to answer it so let's just check the test cases so let's just discuss first subtask ti is are equal for all and people so basically this is simple right all people are getting off at the same ti i have the time from 0 to ti Just schedule everyone which has minimum. So greedily choose the minimum, minimum. So far as you can schedule, that's all, and that's your answer. So this subtask one is pretty simple, and I will show you why this works. So you can actually give a you call a argument here that because I had a bigger interval here. I can always cancel this interval, place a smaller interval. It will take up less space, and the numbers remain the same. And it gives me more space to take the next one. Uh, we can we can also give a formal proof here. I don't want to indulge into any of that, but that answers our question for now. Actually answers that I have actually completed subtask one. Let's see this four five thirty one thirty two six thirteen seven. Let's write it down. Ah, oh, we are doing this for subtask. I went out of third. Fourteen, fifth, fifth. This is basically the A and the third. So this is basically now what we have to schedule. So. Can actually see the numbers here. A is basically the time taken, so it is best schedule always the smallest one time. Code. So I can like edit it my story. So try to be six. So let's see the answer. B zero six from five six thirty. Good. Uh, Just let's look at the explanation. So when it satisfies, we got the time is less than the amount of time they want to spend for charging. The other shown and signed as shown for three zero and in the interval. But there are multiple examples. So, okay. So that's the problem and the test cases that I have explained. Let me just give you the approach and so that you can actually get started with the question. I won't be giving you in this, but I will give you. So the approach is basically that you have make pair of them A and T. Now think about. Now think about you can iterate on them 
somewhere for each one you check a oh, 31 sorry and t and then you check actually that if i can place him anywhere in the current queue and we can also you can be sure that you can always place all the people from start to an interval without leaving a gap because suppose if i were leaving a gap like this i can always move it back so i can just move it here because all will climb upon at equal to zero literally there is no way that you can leave a gap so these two hints you should be able to solve this problem if you are still not able to solve this problem so to me i will help the and in a future video i may even sample test your test cases you like the video and the channel i have some pretty amazing tutorials on mongodb and infinity if you want to check it out or even competitive programming but like share and subscribe thank you